Welcome again. Right now in our readings, we are on John chapter 4, verses 43 through to the end of the chapter, verse 54. This is where Jesus heals an officer's son. Let's get right into it. After the two days, he went out from there and went into Galilee. Now, you got to remember the context from which we're reading. We, are, uh, we just finished reading where Jesus was in Samaria and he uh, approached the woman at the well and then it kind of led into almost like what some people would call a revival where uh, there were a lot of Samaritans that came to know God through that and Jesus was in Samaria for a certain time. So Jesus was in Samaria for a couple of days and this is where this story picks up. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his own country. So when he came into Galilee, the Galileans received him having seen all the things that he did in Jerusalem at the feast. For they also went to the feast. Jesus came, therefore, again to Cana of Galilee, where he made the water into wine. There was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had come out of Judea into Galilee, he went to him and begged him that he would come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Jesus therefore said to him, Unless you see signs and wonders, you will in no way believe. That's quite an interesting point that Jesus brings up here. Now, that's one of the reasons why Jesus did miracles like this, is so that people would, would believe. You know that Jesus also rebuked people for not believing in the face of these miracles. But that's not the only reason why Jesus did miracles. We read also that he did miracles just because of compassion, just out of compassion, he did miracles. So let's go on. The nobleman said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, Go your way, your son lives. The man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him, and he went his way. As he was now going down, his disciples met him and reported, saying, Your child lives. So he, so he inquired of them the hour when he began to get better. They said, therefore, to him, Yesterday at the seventh hour, that would be about 1 p.m., the fever left him. So the father knew that it was, at this, it was at that hour in which Jesus said to him, Your son lives. He believed, as did his whole house. This is, again, the second sign that Jesus did, having come out of Judea into Galilee. So, so notice here that Jesus didn't have to go lay his hands on the son. He didn't have to go pray for the son. All he did was just say, your son lives. Go your way, your son lives. Okay? Jesus understood the power of words. And being the Lord himself, he understood that that's how the world was created. The world was created out of words. You know, God said, let there be light, and there was light. You know, God said, let there be a firmament, and there was a firmament. And so the power of words mixed with the power of faith, you know. And faith is more than presumption, okay? Okay. Faith, and you know, faith is not presumption. This is where a lot of people get it wrong. They think that faith is presumption. Faith is not presumption, okay? Faith is reality. It's not presuming anything. Faith is not presumption like a lot of these faith preachers preach. A lot of these faith preachers practice faith as presumption. No, faith is not presumption. Faith is faith. And um, Jesus tapped in to the power of words, when he said, go your way, your son lives. So, may God show you great and mighty things as you call upon him, you seek him, you seek the truth. I mean, you break away from the cultural, you know, idea of really who Jesus is, and you, you actually dive into the truth. What does the scriptures actually say? Thanks again for listening, and God bless you as you pursue him. Amen.